This video will cover some of the basic navigation features of Westlaw. This is the home page. The search bar at the top is called the global search box and will search everything available in Westlaw. You can search by citation, using Boolean or natural language searching, by publication, case name, etc. You can select a jurisdiction to search by clicking where it says all states. You can select up to three jurisdictions. Anytime you see a question mark, scroll over it for additional information. After you make your selection, click Save. The jurisdiction changes to the right of the global search box so that you know what you're searching. You can also perform an advanced search by clicking on Advanced Search to the right of the global search box. Each advanced search screen looks a little different as the guided search options change to maximize your search potential. There will always be a list of connectors and expanders to help you build a Boolean search. Let's go back to the home page by clicking on Westlaw. It's often a good idea to start your search smaller and not search everything available. To make this efficient, content is split into categories. You can select a category for additional options and to limit your search. The All Content tab provides access to highly used databases within Westlaw. You can also select the tab for federal materials, for state materials, practice areas, or tools. Let's go back to the All Content tab and select Cases. Each time we click on an option, the search box at the top will change to reflect the content you'll search. If there are additional tools to aid in your research, they will be listed to the right of the screen under Tools and Resources. The tools and resources change depending on the source you're viewing. Let's click on Tenth Circuit. Now you can search only Tenth Circuit cases or select a specific court. Let's select Utah Federal District Court. We've narrowed content as much as we can. We can now search only Utah Federal District Court cases from this screen. Once you've narrowed content as much as you can for a database, the 10 most recent documents appear. Now that we've looked at narrowing our content before performing a search, let's go back to the home page to see how Westlaw provides access to a specific publication or document. If you want to find a specific publication, case, or statute, in Westlaw, you can begin typing what you're looking for in the global search box. As you begin typing in the search box, options appear for searches related to your terms. Typing the name of the publication into the search box is a great way to see if the publication is available on Westlaw. You can type in the name of a primary source, like a case, to access a case without knowing the citation. You can also type in the name of a secondary source, newspaper, etc. Let's look for American Law Reports. You can type either ALR or American Law Reports. Select it from the drop-down list. We're now in the database for American Law Reports. Remember that once you've selected a specific publication or category of sources, the search bar at the top of the screen changes. You can tell that by reading what's written to the left of the search bar and inside the search bar. If you click on American Law Reports on the left of the search bar, you can select to search all content instead of only searching American Law Reports. The advanced search option to the right of the search bar also changes. The changes reflect some of the best criteria for creating a tailored search of American Law Reports. Let's back up and look at the main search screen for American Law Reports. We have tools and resources we can use to search more efficiently on the right. We can also see what's included in the ALR database. When you're using a publication in an electronic database, it's a good idea to know what the database provides access to. You can see date coverage and other useful information for the publication by clicking on the eye. 
Coverage information is at the top. This lets us know that Westlaw provides access to all of the ALRs and updates them on a weekly basis. This is important to know as sometimes the database will not provide coverage of the information you need for a research project. We can illustrate this by assuming we're doing research for a professor and need to locate articles in a newspaper like the Salt Lake Tribune. You want to ensure the database provides coverage for the years you need before beginning your research. If you do the research without knowing this, then you may think there are no relevant articles and provide incorrect information to the professor. Let's close this box and type Salt Lake Tribune in the search bar. You don't have to change what the search bar will search if you select something from the drop-down list. Now click on the I at the top of the page to see coverage. Westlaw only provides coverage from April of 1994 until June of 2010. If the professor wanted articles from 2012, it would look like there weren't any articles to meet the professor's needs when the problem is the database does not provide access to the year you're interested in. There may be many articles available for the professor's project from 2012, but you wouldn't be able to use Westlaw for this research. Now let's briefly look at additional features to help organize your research. You can create folders to compile sources for a research project. You can do that at the navigation bar across the top of the screen. You can also do it when you're looking at something you want to save. Let's click on the top result to see how this works. From within a document, click on the folder. You can create a new folder from here or save to an existing folder. From the document view, you can also select options to email, print, or download the document you're viewing. If you select text, you can add a note or highlight part of the document to create your own annotations. You can also copy the citation to a document from this box. But be careful, not all of the citations provided are correct Blue Book citations, so you should still look at the Blue Book to make sure it's correct. Clicking on the magnifying glass will allow you to search within the document, which is useful if you're looking for something within a long document. Additional items in the top navigation bar allow you to look at history of past searches, favorites, and create alerts. This concludes our video on some of the basic navigation features of Westlaw.